Greetings. This is a short video on earthquake migration and meridians. We're now doing some analysis of the recent 7.2 magnitude earthquake that struck in eastern Turkey. This is a devastating earthquake that has caused a major loss of life for the region, unfortunately. Now, I do believe that this event had precursor earthquakes and could have been forecasted ahead of time, and I'll show why. I believe that the 7.4 magnitude earthquake that struck in the Kermanic Islands on October 21st is a cause of the earthquake that occurred in eastern Turkey yesterday. And the main reason for this is the earthquakes that occur in the Kermanic Islands migrate along the meridian. I have been plotting these over the last six months. The earthquakes that occur in the Kermanics tend to affect the regions of Papua Indonesia and the New Britain region, Papua New Guinea. A day after this earthquake in the Kermanic Islands, a 4.9 magnitude event was recorded in the New Britain region, Papua New Guinea. Now this was expected and along the meridian. However, the depth of this earthquake was at 48 kilometers. And that's an indication that these pressures and stresses have not been released and a further migration of an earthquake will occur. And this was the case at approximately five hours later in the region of Palau in Micronesia with a 5.3 magnitude earthquake recorded. Now this earthquake was also at deep levels 58 kilometers and unfortunately the next earthquake that followed five hours later was a 7.2 magnitude earthquake in the eastern Turkey region. So as we can see we see a symmetry running from all of these earthquakes and the main instigator was a 7.4 magnitude event that occurred back on October 21st. It's also worth noting that a sun diving or sun grazing comet was seen entering the sun a day earlier. The best way of describing the earthquake migration along the meridian is the Newton's cradle effect with kinetic energy being sent to one part of a tectonic plate being released on the other or an energy transfer. That's my research and analysis of the earthquakes that have occurred over the last few days. Thanks for watching.